안녕. Hey. 안녕. 안녕. We are the students from Bloody. studying in the in Netherlands, and so we want to record a video talking a bit about the situation right now, and how different the attitudes between the international students and international students and Dutch students or Asians, or those who have experienced. Yeah. It. Um, <clears throat> for example, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Italian. Italian, we are sort of in one thing and against the other thing that we are super anxious and being more aware of the situation. Being cautious about it. Yeah. For example, we don't go to party, we don't go to club, we don't go to like very crowded place while I still have got a friend saying in social media that, oh, you're not going to die from this stupid flu. Mm. Yeah, and today is the 15th of March and there is already over 1,000 cases in the Netherlands already, right? And yeah. how many people died from it? It's not in a very good situation right now in the Netherlands and the most horrendous thing is people are still being chill about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go on the street, you still see people on the street and walking around, going to cafe and... So I went to Yumbo one day and I saw a lot of people stocking food like potatoes, pasta and everything they need toilet for like, and toilet paper time. and they were like, nobody was wearing mask nobody, literally nobody, I was the only one You so wore was, mask? Yeah, I wore mask So I was... Because, and then it's people a very brave look thing. at me It's like, a very brave thing to do now in the Netherlands yeah, like, she must be a patient. Yeah. She must be infected. This because kind of looking. The whole different idea yeah. between Asia and Europe is that like for us it's very normal to wear a mask. Mm. No matter what kind of purse purse yeah, you have yeah. got. For example, if we have got allergic problems, especially during the springtime, mm -hmm. we wear a mask. Or because of the pollution or now because of the virus. But then in Europe, people believe only when you are infected you wear a mask. Mm. Healthy people no need to wear a mask. Mm. Yeah. So I was a bit very shocked and I was like, what yeah what is going what on? What's going on? Yeah. Why people are stocking food and nobody's wearing a mask. It's like so doing I just feel a bit contradiction thing. Yes. At the same time. Yeah. yeah. And uh all, like she is going back to Korea on Tuesday. Yeah. Today is Sunday, so it's three days after. Three days after, two days after. Yeah. Yeah. Days. And our Taiwanese friend Yuchi is already in Taiwan. Uh, my Italian friends went back home a week ago because Italian is in the worst situation, so they shut down schools earlier. But we didn't like last Thursday. We were still at school preparing for midterm exams. Yes. Yes. But because the Dutch government hasn't really um, announced any national major major <laughs> <laughs> you can see that you're friends <laughs> she talks for me sometimes when i'm like short with vocabulary and everything so the thing is we didn't know what to do we still had to go to school to attend lecture tutorials because we had exam and we're those like serious students mm -hmm. don't want to play around and being so casual, mm -hmm. careless with our school. So we still went to school and on f Thursday afternoon, we got the announcement that the midterm is cancelled. Mm. That's the time when we start to think, oh, maybe mm. we should go back home. Yeah, but, but even before the announcement, because we knew that Denmark already shut down all the universities. On so we Wednesday. assumed that, okay, on maybe Wednesday. same thing's gonna happen in the Netherlands as well. So we were talking about what's go what are we going to do if there's a shutdown and then yeah it's just happened one yeah. day after yeah and then we were a bit like prepared like mentally a bit mentally prepared yeah. Yeah. and the worst thing is that because people sometimes say oh what is the point of going back to the home country at this moment it's because that we at least want to be with our family at this point yeah yeah and plus everyone is leaving you just felt I like I felt like I don't want to be alone in the Netherlands because you don't know when is this going to be end. Mm, yeah, yeah. Every day the new case the new cases number is increasing, and, and we I feel like it's only the beginning for the it's Europe. It's really only it's the beginning. Just the beginning. Yeah, and mm. 
Italy has already closed the border. What if the Netherlands closes the border for, I don't know, a few months, mm -hmm. half year, one year? Nobody knows. I cannot be here alone. My friends are all leaving. What if something happened to me? Who should I reach out for help? And I have a friend living in UK. Her friend is from Manchester, or she's Chinese. And she was running fever for 41 degree, 42 degree for seven days. And she reached out to the hospital request for a test. But then the hospital said, you have never been to infected area, so we cannot waste a test kit on you. And same thing happened to our friend Emily. Um, she's running symptoms. She lives in The Hague. That's where we are living right now. Mm -hmm. She um, is running fever and she called the coronavirus hotline. And they say, oh, your symptom doesn't seem like coronavirus so we transfer you to normal life and she was calling the normal life for over one hour but it was always busy and she has been at home for three days already and she also cancel cancelled her flight back to China because she doesn't want to affect anyone so now basically the situation is if you get sick there's nothing you can do at this moment but if we get back to our home country we know there will be some measurement we yeah, know yeah. we'll be get into the hospital we will take the test and will get treatment yeah. at least yeah. that's the worst scenario and at least we feel safe in our home country mm. speak our language and what i can say about this going back home is was for everyone who were considering this option they couldn't make decision in a short time we they were struggling it. a lot we were really struggling because, like we don't have any predictable ending the time or we don't know when the university will like open again and when this is gonna be ended so we couldn't really decide so it was like 50 50 should we go and then, home like, or should and we cost. stay here yeah what if what this if, happens what if, what if, if you cannot come, come back? back to the netherlands what about our school yeah. what if we stay here alone and die here alone <laughs> you know yeah. all these things uh, uh, and also Every meeting when we were struggling, thinking about a decision, the flight price was de increasing crazily. Mm -hmm. And now, if you look at the flight from Amsterdam to any major city in China, the price, usually the price, the, the, the flight price will be 400 euros, depends on the um, airline companies, but usually it's 400. Mm -hmm. But now it's 3000 euros for economic class Ooh, yeah so so we just want to make this video to talk about what uh, international students facing during this special time yeah. and our struggles and all yep yeah. stay healthy stay healthy stay safe stay Jai hydrated you. how do you say jayo in korean hiding 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 bye bye, bye.